and welcome back more kotor 2 uh there's something i want to address uh, i'll leave it till it actually matters there is much energy in the room beyond yet it stems from nothing that lives uh-huh kreya what can you not sense them reach out cast aside your sight cast aside what you see and instead reach out with your perception I can see them. Ah, you can feel them. The droids you cannot perceive, but the small oscillations of energy, that you can feel, echoing outwards. With Kratos' help, you've gained the passive precognition power. When this power is triggered, you should save your game. And we get 100 XP. Let's go fight them, and let's make it easy. Chuck a Granada. Ah. Ah. It is fate, but it is there. What is... I feel strange. Like, the sedatives are wearing off. It is the force you feel. It has not been so long as for you to forget. But it doesn't sound like it did. It, it's like it, it's coming across a great distance. Do not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echoing within you. Come. I shall guide you down the familiar paths. You will need it if we are to survive and escape this place. Gaining experience will slowly reestablish your connection to the Force. Go to the level up screen. So as you can see here, our Force bar is empty, even though we are technically a Jedi until... Well, I guess we have to get through this, but uh, let's see. Some demo would be nice. Some persuade is always nice. Feats, uh, hmm. We're gonna prepare for a lightsaber and just go ahead and grab that. And here we go. We have access to force powers. Do you remember last time, burst of speed? I didn't use it. But this time, I'm gonna be using it. It's restricted by armor. That's fine. Because look at this. Wind speed double defense increased by four, and you get to attack two extra times every turn. Every turn at its highest level. That is so amazing. That plus master flurry plus two weapons lets you hit five times every round. Oh, you can see our force bars back. Lets you hit up to like five times every round, so you can you can do a lot of damage real quick. But you can see it takes a lot of force points, and the game won't let me move again, so that's frustrating. I'll have to quick load. Yeah, we'll just do it now. Quick save, quick load. I'll try and fix that for next time. But first... Look for the override switch. You found this override switch. Activate it. Cool. So now all the droids should be shut down. And by shut down, the game actually means they just don't fight you anymore. They just kind of sit there. Like this guy. Let's examine his behavior core. Some recent modifications have been made to its vocabulator. No longer accept commands from anyone except one. The ID designation matches the maintenance officer. Let's check the last command. The mining particles have been set to mine any organics and any non-authorized droids. If this is the case, then the mining droids have likely wiped out everyone and everything in the facility. Let's go ahead and switch it to defend organics. Defend any organic. If someone chooses to attack you, it'll attempt to protect you. Let's take some components off it. Cool. So it seems the maintenance officer recently just changed all these droids to mine any organics they find, which is why they have now killed everyone on this facility. For the most part, we did see someone in there. So we're going to go ahead and go around, take some components, switch them to defend. Then we're going to go up here, we're going to steal some more stuff. Because why would you not steal stuff? There's also more droids we can take from. More components. More components. More components. We're going to need a lot of components later on. Because they let you not only make weapons but also make upgrades for those weapons. Because the upgrades are much more expanded than the last game too. There's some components. 
More components, and that's every droid. Let's go ahead and Beyond listen to this. Door, that's right. Someone yet lives. Be mindful. His thoughts are difficult to read. Scratch his head. Nothing to fear from this one. So he might be useful. Are you an angel? Oh, <laughs> oh I'm just kidding. That's the worst line I've ever used. <laughs> Hope some poor kid doesn't start using it. So this is funny. He normally doesn't say that. He normally goes, he's all creepy. He's a nice outfit. Change regulation uniform. But because I have a problem with this game, and I've played it so many times, after you beat the game three times, you unlock unique dialogue like this. As you saw, he uses Anakin's line from episode one. And then he'll he'll break the fourth wall here and explain a lot. I'm Atten. I actually wasn't supposed to make it into the final game, but I was created at the last minute. Blame my agent. I was actually slated for a spin-off to Jedi Knight, but I don't want to talk about what happened there. Can to explain why you're locked up? Security claimed I violated some trumped-up regulation or another. Take it up with them if you want. But they stopped listening to me shortly before they stopped feeding me. Now that's criminal. After this, this is all his normal dialogue. He just has those two unique little lines once you've beaten the game enough times because they want to reward you for getting addicted to this game. <laughs> what is this place? Hey, you mean you didn't come here on purpose? I'm shocked. I really am. This slice of paradise is the Paragus Mining Facility, the only supplier of shipping-grade engine fuel to this corner of the galaxy. Paragus Fuel plays havoc with engines, but it gets the job done. As long as you don't mind the toxic byproducts and trying to mine it without blowing yourself up. Blowing yourself up? Yeah, this asteroid belt is one giant minefield. One proton torpedo, even a stray blaster shot, can start an explosion that'll make the one that shattered Paragus 2 look like a kid's pop detonator. Paragus 2? You know the planet with the exposed core you saw flying in? That hole was caused by the first mining station that tried to siphon fuel off the planet. Blew a whole chunk out of the planet and set it drifting out here in a big clump of fuel-cooled asteroids. So the miners drill the asteroids now, not the planet's surface. That's why they don't allow blasters here. Can't trust a miner jumped up on Juma Juice not to fire one stray shot that'll turn the entire colony so into thermal death detonator. this place is a trap. So Sody's deserted. What happened? You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Hey, that's Either me. way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See... Some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the exchange has posted for live Jedi. Uh, it's well, a what bounty on Jedi, huh? The didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion. I was sitting here for a long time. <laughs> then you showed up in your underwear and things got a lot better. <laughs> it's a bounty on a captured Jedi? Why? Not much about it. Maybe the exchange wants one as a trophy or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. What happened to him? The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council there's anymore. No council, who knows? Even. Heard rumors of a war, but uh, was it caused by the Mandalorian Wars? Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? I've been away well actually here we're gonna what happened between Revan and Malak well I wasn't there but like all Sith Revan and Malak turned on each other after they turned on the Jedi of course. this is what happened in the first game and so this is the way because this game plays well a little bit it plays out a little bit differently based on what technically would have happened in the first game and this is where you get to determine it so either unite the Sith against the Republic if you play dark side or I was led to believe that Revan saved the Jedi and the Republic. I guess. There's rumors all over space about it. All I heard I don't know was how there's rumors about that. Like, it's pretty obvious. Place. You know women. <laughs> how long have you been in that cage? Revan was a man, not a woman. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just hoped Revan was a woman. This discussion about Revan is pointless. What happened here? Look, not like your half-naked interrogation <laughs> isn't a personal fantasy of mine, but... Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? I don't know. This place seems abandoned. The miners can't all be gone. But if they are... Look, hey, let me out and hey. I can help you. 
I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. Tell me your plan, we can go this from there. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field, and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship, and then we fly out of here. One thing first. The patients in the medway were killed with a lethal, lethal dose of sedatives. Know anything about that? No. Should I? Maybe you should ask one of those miners who was thinking about selling you to the exchange. Maybe they wanted to drug you up for transport. Ever think about that? Calm down. I was just asking. So you not accusing you. Me, or are we going to work together and try to get out of this mess? I trust you. If we work together, we might be able to get out. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. All right, let's go. So there's a lot of rumors going on about what actually happened between Revan and Malik at the end of the last right, game. Here we are. Now this console is set on automatic. Don't explain in the book, Revan. You heard it when you came in. Read it. The it also explains charts are constantly being updated. Parts of this game. So it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't. Explains what happened in between the two games. The hail warns them to keep and what happens after this one. Drift charts are transmitted. So and then provides docking it. instructions to incoming ships. Go read Revan. freighters. Thing it's is, old, but it's you awesome. that same transmission back to the comm here. Suddenly, you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure Pazak. The console's ours. Now, all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and... Hey! Hey! What's wrong? The system's been severed from the main hub, after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system. It's been cut clean. That wouldn't be standard procedure. No. Someone tried to lock down this whole level tight and leave us here. Trapped. Trapped. Is there anything else we can do with this console? I doubt it. All we have is communications back. For all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. Can we contact we any can miners? But if the miners were trying to trap you up here and probably kill you, why not call them and chat? I don't think a friendly call is going to wake them up. <laughs> uh, maybe something logged in the terminal. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. Beep a boop. All right, let's go check this thing out. Let's check out these logs first. We'll get a bit more story from this. Tracked the freighter in. Was lucky it wasn't destroyed when it drifted into the asteroid field. Not much on board. One damaged droid, one annoying protocol droid, and a lot of bodies. <laughs> Sent the survivor to medical and the others to the morgue. Didn't recognize the ship's ID code, so we transmitted it to the Republic for some answers. Questioned the protocol droid about what happened. Says his master, the survivor, I guess, was on the Republic ship, the Harbinger, when it suffered an engine failure. He says the survivor was a passenger on the vessel and a Jedi. If so, that's gonna mean true. It's gonna mean true. And, and it just cuts off. Bodies and cargo. Everything matches the protocol droid story. The T3 droid had seized up, so he left it in storage and standby mode. Don't know what code will access it. It could be its voice activated for all we know. We put the protocol droid to work in maintenance, sorting the mining droid comm routines and updating the recognition sensors. Man, to shut him up. When the survivor recovers, hopefully we can get him off this station before there's a... Well, there's a... Trouble between the work shifts. Word of the Jedi leaked out, and the miners aren't sure what to do with her. Corda's mining crew wanted us to collect the creds for the bounty the Exchange has on Jedi, but I put a stop to that. We're contacting Telos to get the Republic records on the Jedi, but nobody will... Still no word nobody from the Republic. But I've sent out a broadcom transmission for records on this Ebon Hawk. One of the miners said it used to be a smuggling vessel. Accidents are making the miners restless. The droid behavior course must be undergoing some kind of binary decay. Two miners were drilled by a droid's mining laser, and those blasts in the ventilation tunnels nearly caused the whole facility to blow. So again, there's more crap going wrong since we showed up. Let's go ahead and... Dormitory series, no response. As we access Hangar Bay 25, is a series of low-pitched whistles and beeps. Beep boop 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 beep boop. <gasps> is that... Are you operational? Can we unlock the turbo lift? Must be an emergency hatch. Try and find it. I'd rather risk it than be trapped up here. Woo! It might be. It could be. It is the one and only T3! My hero! He's got a mining laser on him. I got some armor to give him, which is cool. Some computer stuff. I'm not giving him their old pacifier. We're not fighting people. Everyone in this dang facility is dead, save for the three people we've met. It's like 10 times more bodies than there are living people here. Uh, insulated gloves. That's funny. Let's go ahead and actually come in here. We've got a cool little cutscene and... <gasps> the Ebon Hawk! It's all fixed up! It's all repaired! 
Ain't that interesting. Well, let's go check out the, uh, we're gonna come back. We're gonna save us a bit of time. We're gonna move this way before we go to that console. Because exploring is always good. And I'm just gonna spam the shock arm because it's way better than trying to shoot these guys. Good job, T3. Steal some more crap. Some minor sonic detonators, huh? They're like sonic grenades, but they're supposed to be like mining charges, so they're slightly weaker. But also it makes sense that you wouldn't have mining droids carrying son like web military grade or even just like sonic weaponry. Instead they'd just be carrying like mining grade sonic charges to blast apart rock. So that's a good little continuity thing. It's like the vibro cutter we found instead of a vibro blade. Or these mining lasers instead of blaster pistols. Helps make more sense considering we're in... you got a straight blaster bullet, you could blow up the entire dang colony. Stinking guy resisted my shocking. Sonic mines. Purged a few lines and I found three sonic charges attached inside. Check the work logs and only droids have been in the area. I tried to contact security as soon as I found them, but I can't get a signal through. I've removed the detonators and I'll keep the explosives on me until I can put them in a secure hole in the hangar. So he was checking these fuel lines and found sonic charges planted inside the fuel line. I don't know why there would be sonic charges planted inside a fuel tube. Also, I don't know why this is your design for a fuel tube that you put doors on it and you walk through instead of like walking over or under it or putting this in the ground but hey it looks cooler this way and that's all that really matters oh there's more droids and clomp clomp they shield it up oh boy and I got stuck in that corner because I'm a fool we're gonna come up here and we're gonna shock them again because it's just a basic energy shield they have doesn't protect against electrical damage. Let's go. And they're dead. So we keep moving. Now that we got those sonic charges, we can break open this room here. The sealed door. So it wants you to back up. These don't actually hurt you. I think they might have supposed to hurt you at some point. 3 CFD! Aww. Irreparable damage. No. You can also get into this room by making his energy core explode. And it blows open the door. But it blows this cylinder apart. So you can't get a garbage sonic pistol and a flamethrower. I think there's also supposed to be a flamethrower in here. Nope. I lied to you. Right. You lose the flamethrower that you found. Uh, if you remember on the Evan Hawk, we got a flamethrower in one of the dormitories. And it makes sense because they sorted. No, I don't want to loot this. Just want to make sure it's empty. If you remember, we looted a flamethrower. It makes sense because he said security is sorting through everything, and they're gonna put it away. Break these open because you always gotta loot. Look at that beauty. Oh, it's so pretty down there. It's going to first person. Look at that thing. Anyways. Several parts have been removed from the console, and a laser drill has been used on a number of subsystems. Let's go ahead and put a part in. Let's check the damaged systems. They've all been rerouted. Access to the Paragus Emergency subsystems have been rerouted to a fuel depot terminal, and the connecting circuits have been burned out with a mining laser, preventing remote access. So someone has been doing a lot of sabotage. Let's check these subsystems. Let's open to the hangar. Conduit has been removed. Okay, well, the power conduit has been removed. That sucks. I guess we can get into the fuel depot, though. That one's still there. Let's check these hangar logs. Oh, to dock and take off, all incoming and outgoing freighters need orbital drift charts. That just tells you where the asteroids are going to be and where they are so you don't get crushed. Transmit them. The nav computer is locked. Well, that sucks. Let's go check these logs here. A lot of cargo from the Jedi's freighter is being stored in the secure cargo hold until we can pass it through the quarantine checks. And as requested, all the programming spikes the security officers wanted confiscated have been stored there as well.
to prevent further system compromises. The secure cargo hold should be safe enough. If anybody wants to break into it, they'd have to blow it open with explosives. Like we did. Who ordered the mining droids to repair that Jedi's freighter? I come in here off the work shift and three of them are repairing the port stabilizers? Did I miss something? Is somebody planning a trip? Because orders were that the hangar was to be locked down ever since that Jedi arrived. I don't know what maintenance is up to, but you can't just commission droids for repairs, especially with half the work shifts in medbay. Those droids are needed to repair the ventilation tunnels before gas builds up to terminal levels. It's not like that ship can go anywhere anyway. Even if it had the asteroid orbital drift charts, the Nava computer's been voice locked. You'd need the access code to get it spaceworthy. Considering this latest droid commission breach, I'm putting the droids in this section under the control of the current dock officer. If anyone sends commands to the mining droids outside this terminal, I'll be forced to enact full override. Full override. Looks like those droids got the vessel working again, even with all the damage it had taken. The maintenance officer still won't admit ordering them to fix it, though. Regardless, still no luck accessing the Nava computer. It's been voice locked. Maybe by one of the corpses we found on the ship, like the old woman. If so, like the that old ship woman. Anyway, well, she ain't a corpse anymore. The Nava computer and put in a new one, if we even had one to spare. The only reason someone would lock their Nava computer is to hide their astrogation charts. Someone didn't want us to know where that ship was going, or where it had been. Only smugglers do that, or someone with something to hide. That Jedi's got a lot of questions to answer. Hmm. Communication system was purposefully burned out with a mining laser. If you had the parts, you don't think you could contact the administration level. Well, that's strange. Someone really burned the crap out of this console with a laser. Also, someone ordered the droids to fix the Ebonhawk, so that's nice. Appreciate that. But why would the Nava computer be locked? <gasps> Read Revan. It's explained there. I'll sum it up at the end of the game, or when it becomes prudent, but... For now, I'll let the mystery linger, and I'm stuck again. Ugh. Please, I need to fix that. I'll work on it. But for now, we can't get in there just yet, because we can't, like, break this glass. That would be too easy. I'm just gonna take out a few more droids. Take this, because it's mine. I deserve it. Give me that sonic grenade. Apparently, there is already military-grade weaponry. Other than that flamethrower we found. That was in... The secure room. Oh uh, yeah, I think if you check the cameras to check that secure storage room, you can see um, the option to blow up 3CFD to get in there. You will control station. Check the cameras. Fuel line sensors. Oh, there's another charge in there. Some sort of metal case. Hmm. Strange. Maintenance level, that's where we already were. Entrance to the maintenance area. So we just shut it down. Means that anyone there is cut off from the hangar. Hmm, interesting. Ah, uh, yes, someone sliced in and created a phantom leak. So there isn't an actual fuel leak, but it just appears as if there is. And when we open that. We can't do... Yeah. We can't do anything else on that terminal, and... Uh-oh. Well, T3 just got wrecked. So, uh... How long have you been a so, Jedi? Uh... Must be tough. <laughs> you know. No family. No husband. No, <laughs> no tougher than enduring your false sympathy staring at my hey, chest. I wasn't trying to... Beep -a -boop. And that door is open. Hey, what do you know? A little cargo <laughs> cylinder came through. We'll see, but Strange didn't if contact us. If working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. Turbolifts are locked down, so I don't open in the emergency Wait, hatch. Don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. Are you? That explosion I heard came from below. 
There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. Jedi's life is sacrifice. And someone's gotta save us. You're either really brave or really crazy. Or both. Alright, I'll try to monitor things from up here. And be careful. The only thing moving down there is likely to be mining droids, so don't be playing hero too hard. Uh, not that I care what happens to you or anything. I just don't want to be trying to get off this rock by myself. Concern is noted. I'll keep the comm link open. I'm I got a comm link. Cool. And more light side. And we're still basically neutral. But look at this. I can move so much faster. Oh, it's so nice. So really quick, something that we were supposed to do a while back, before we even got to the droids where we leveled up, is we were supposed to look at this door. Emergency locked in. Emergency okay, em well. Em that's strange. Uh, normally... I has still... Yeah, okay. Normally when you try to open this door, Kraya's like, Oh, it's... We can't get in. And we can't get out. That's weird. And then you try to ask her about it, and she doesn't say anything. Because you're not supposed to have the precognition. Or the ability to... Talk to her through the force yet. But here we go, down into the mining tunnels where all the crap at the fan. Can you read me? Yeah, for a minute I thought you were Kraya. I thought you and I thought you and Kraya were telepathic. Okay. What did you say? Your signal's crammed with static. There's a lot of interference down there, probably caused by that explosion. Still, it looks like there's a route down to the Paragus fuel depot. If the passages haven't collapsed, that explosion knocked out most of the sensors. There should be an emergency crate in the next room. Watch yourself. There's a lot of droid broadcasts in that area, but I can't pin them down. Alert me immediately if you pick up anything else. Will do. And be careful down there. Ooh, emergency supplies. Yay. So on this minor uniform, survey gear, safety harness, these gloves we got. I'm not gonna put on a shield yet. If you notice the headgear is invisible. The emergency I don't supply. like wearing a headgear. It looks ugly. Yeah, it looks like there's some clothes. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> I mean good good to hear it. No sense in you running around half naked. It's it's distracting. I mean, for the droids. But there may be some survey <laughs> gear and a safety harness inside the crate too. The mine the survey gear is designed to spot and protect you against sonic mines. Yeah, it's like a military issue energy shield, except it's designed to protect the miners against lasers and heat. It should work against the droid mining lasers. It won't last forever, and certainly not against multiple laser hits. Uh, just one more thing. I've narrowed down some of the ID signals, and if the numbers are right. I can handle it. Just guide me out. Central control. So unfortunately for Atten, we got close. Oh man. Poor guy. Damn it. Watch where you step. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh watch out, those bubbles mean there's a mine there. They look really fast. Faster than they should, but we're gonna recover them because we're gonna get XP for it. Also, the max level in this game is not just 20 anymore. It's like 50 or something, so. It's definitely worth trying to get every little... What am I stuck on? Okay. How many parts do we have? Seven? Let's do that. Then patrol mode. And then we'll just let him go run out there and start fighting people while I loot. I should have done that before the mines, but I forgot. Sorry. My bad. Oh, he's killing something. Let's run out here and get involved. And we missed. And he's killing everything. Holy. Well, I'm glad I got him then. I'm glad he's on my side. And I'm not stuck in place. Cool. Free remains. Oh, I can wear that, I think. Yeah. Extra reflex save. Come here, guy. <laughs> what the? Look at that. It's a little maintenance droid. They suck because when you kill them, they explode and they hurt you if you're melee. Also, they repair any damage droids, which is real annoying. But 
or strong enough to just slice everyone to pieces. You can get an advanced mining laser, which is like a blaster rifle, but worse. Look at that model, though. That thing looks clean. But we're not going to be using that. Look at this. Look at this trash. I mean, I guess it's all right early. It looks so ugly, though. Like, I mean, the modded model is clean and smooth, but it's just this ugly, bulbous thing. Oh, man, that looks all red and hot and painful and deadly. But we're not going to worry about that till next time. See ya, everyone.